We're going to go back now live to our reporter Aliana Gomez. She was inside that news conference where Abington police just gave an update uh, identifying two suspects in a series of attempted abductions. Aliana, what were you able to learn at that news conference? Yes, Sarah, police just gave an update literally in the last five minutes, and we are now learning that they have one suspect in custody who they are calling the main suspect. His name is Khalil Evans from Philadelphia. He's 44 years old. I apologize. This is the picture that we have right now, but this is his photo here, and police said that they were able to capture him. They had been searching for him all day, all night last night since this incident happened at the Willow Grove Mall, and they were able to get in touch with his attorney, uh, who Khalil Evans had contacted after learning that his, his picture was all over the news and that police were searching for him. So he contacted his attorney, and his attorney arranged for pickup and turned himself in. And he is on his way here to Abington Township Police as we speak, probably in the next 15 minutes. So here's what we're learning about Khalil Evans. Again, 44 years old from Philadelphia. We're learning he has a very lengthy criminal record that includes several weapons charges here. Uh, we have a whole list here. Weapons offenses, possession of firearms, aggravated assault, terroristic threats. Uh, and police are saying, you know, with that kind of record, there is no reason why he should have been out. He's been on probation right now. There's no reason why he should have been out on probation. And of course, engaging in the offenses that he's accused of. So again, what we know, Khalil Evans, 44 years old, he's currently charged with unlawful imprisonment of a minor, which is a second degree felony, carries a five year prison sentence. And we heard from police and detectives on their extensive search to find him. Checking locations that we know had to have been frequented by the, by the suspect all day. We checked families' homes. We checked places that he was known to be. Um, the detectives were out there all day just knocking on doors, shaking the trees. Um, we believe that that caused the, um, motivated the suspect in this case to go to his attorney's office. This is a type of crime where the hair on your back stands up. It's, it's very disturbing. Uh, to see that video and to see, uh, thank God this young lady had the presence of mind to scream, to pull back, and to uh, take off as citizens jumped in to, to stop this, these individuals. So here's a bit of the backstory if you're just kind of tuning into all of this. Around 7 last night, a 14-year-old girl was walking around the Willow Grove Mall, had been separated from her friends, and as she was going down the escalator, she was approached by this man, 44-year-old Khalil Evans, uh, who called himself Alex at the time. Police say he grabbed her arm and started heading towards the exit. That's when the girl screamed and several people in the mall ran to help her, and the two men got into a dark-colored SUV and took off. Now, police were able to locate, again, Khalil today. As for the other suspect, they're saying he's not facing any charges right now, and they're still investigating what his role was. But of course, we're going to have much more for you coming up. And we've also spoken with another young woman who came to police today and said she had an interaction with these men after the 14-year-old girl was nearly abducted. So we'll have all of that for you coming up at 6 o'clock. For now, we're live outside of Abington Township Police. Aliana Gomez, Channel 6 Action News. Back to you guys. Okay, a lot of moving parts here, and we'll see you with more details at 6 o'clock tonight. Aliana, thank you.